Welcome to part 9 of the World Partition video series. This video discusses multiple subjects including using multiple landscape sections to create a larger landscape, how to import fewer tiles for large landscapes, and landscape issues with Unreal Engine 5.1. Multiple height map sections can be imported as individual landscapes to create an overall larger terrain system. For example, a 32641 by 32641 single height map file import requires a computer with 128 gigs of RAM memory and a 24 gigabyte GPU. Whereas, if it is imported as a section set of 4x4 of 8161 by 8161 sections, it only requires a computer with 32 gigabytes of memory. When importing sections as separate landscapes, do not use underscores in the height map file names, or Unreal Engine will think that it is a multi-file tile set to be imported. Limitations to this technique include no ability to paint or sculpt across adjacent landscape actors. The sections must be valid world partition resolutions, otherwise the edges will have padded and stretched quads. And if multiple landscape actors are placed next to each other to create a larger overall terrain, those padded edges will be located in the play area. Be sure to choose a height map size that results in the sections being landscape recommended sizes, including shared edges. So for example, a set of 2x2 two two landscapes of 4033x4033 40, with shared edges would be an 8065x8065 80, height map split into 2x2. Two two. Note that a single quad shadow seam may be visible in the lighting as Unreal Engine tends to not correctly light landscape edges. This seam can usually be hidden with foliage or other scene assets. UE5 can also import tile sets for larger landscapes, but this has the same memory requirements as importing a single large height map file. UE5 often crashes when importing height maps that are a high number of tiles. So to alleviate this issue, choose a slightly smaller overall height map resolution and a lower number of tiles. This will result in at least one quad of stretched terrain around the edges. It is typically best to keep the tile count at a maximum of 8x8 tiles for a total of 64 tiles. For example, the valid world partition resolution of 10201 by 10201 normally requires a 101 tile set of 101 by 101 tiles, which is a total of 10201 tiles, which will most likely crash the editor on importing. Instead, choose an 8x8 tile set of 1275 by 1275. This results in a 10200 by 10200 terrain that is padded with only one pixel or quad along two edges of stretched terrain. Or choose a 4x4 16 tile set of 2550 by 2550, which is also 10200 by 10200 and padded with only one pixel on the edge. An additional example would be 16321 by 16321, which is normally a 19 by 19 tile set of 859 by 859 tiles. Instead, choose an 8 by 8 tile set of 2040 by 2040. This results in a 16320 by 16320 terrain that is padded with only one pixel or quad along two edges of stretched terrain. Or choose a 4x4 4 4 16 tile set of 4080 by 4080 which results in a 16320 by 16320 terrain. Unreal Engine 5.1 has been changed so that the largest single height map that can be imported is 16384 by 16384, which is the largest DirectX 2D texture size possible. The landscape height map import process will crash with a get max 2D texture dimension error if anything larger than 16384 is attempted. This places the current maximum world partition landscape size at 16321 by 16321 for Unreal Engine 5.1. This may be a bug or Epic may be limiting the maximum landscape to this size going forward. Unreal Engine Update 5.1.1 still has the maximum 16384 by 16384 height map resolution issue, 
making UE 5.1X very limited for large open worlds, with a maximum height map of 16km by 16km at scale 100.